Thank <laughs> you. 
Marcia, what you do?
everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, we'll start off with, uh, i got to introduce my granddaughter, Lindsay Subsidy. This is her 13th year doing the Star Spangled Banner for her. Started when she was 10 years old. God, as our country pauses today to remember those who have given their lives for freedoms we enjoy, we pray you would have us all look to you for strength, comfort, and guidance. Be with us, be, all, be with all who serve in our armed forces, bless them and their families, grant your loving protection, loving God, let peace prevail among all the nations, especially let your mercy rest upon our land, even as we acknowledge with thanksgiving your past goodness to this country. We remember with compassion those who have died serving this country and those who mourn them. We believe that you will provide as you have provided for others the fulfillment of blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. May we, through your grace, comfort them. Amen. Amen. I just want to give a special thanks to the pastor, uh, Methodist Church, the pastor of the Church teamed up with Ventwork and supplied us with some uh, rooms down there in the, in the rectory, the old rectory, uh, uh, where, to put up homeless veterans. Uh, and usually when they come in, they're only there three or four days, and we get them into some kind of veterans administration program and that, but at least we got a place to house them now, and they're out of the woods or off the street in a nice place. Thank you. Liz. Uh, Mayor, Mayor McDonald. come to honor those who for the love of their country they accepted death and made immortal their patriotism and their virtue. And as I, as I was preparing my remarks, I did some research. And I googled how many of our bravest have fallen in all the wars and conflicts in this country's great history. And I was shocked. 1.3 million. At the time this country 
1776 to today. The other part of this, and almost half, died in combat. The other half died because of accident, because of sickness. That, that's just, I got a problem. And I also ask myself the question, what would they think of our country today? Man. But this I do know, that if they rose from the dead today, every one of them would get in the fight tomorrow because they love this country. So as we go about today, honor them, toast them, but celebrate their lives because that's what they wanted. Remember who, for who they were. They were great people. Maybe they were the 90 mile an hour pitcher or the great basketball player or a great singer or whatever they were. Just remember them for that. And George Patton, the great George Patton, made this statement. I think it's very appropriate. It is foolish and wrong to mourn the, the soldiers who died. Rather, we, we should thank God such soldiers lived. And then I came across a poem that I thought was very appropriate for today. And I'd like to, to read it. It's written by a Randall West. I have no idea who Randall West is. And it goes like this. Fragile is a single life the brave so freely give. Bound for immortality, their souls will surely live. Death, don't be proud for what you took, they freely gave away. Their quest for freedom far outweighed the fear that you could bet. They joined the ranks of warriors, staying vigil day and night. They often skipped a meal or two, but they never missed a fight. God bless the men and women whose fighting days are done. Say a special prayer at night for each and every one. Rest assured that you will find throughout the coming years these fallen warriors will return the hearts of their peers. If we forget their sacrifice, the deaths will be in vain. Let's stand beside their loved one as we sing the last refrain. You come upon our heaven's gates. You surely won't have long to wait. The saints will take care of you, but there's still a lot to do. You've joined the ranks of everyone who fought so for freedom would be won. Although your job on earth is done, your work in heaven has just begun. Thank you. All right, then uh, we'll get on. I'm trying to think of where I was, I got lost. <laughs> uh, usually there's a little talk about uh, Memorial Day. I see a lot of veterans here. There's a, there's a thing that uh, attacks us all at this time of the year that we're there, that served, that we're in. Uh, and it's called post-traumatic uh, stress. And just to let you know, I'll give you my story. Not that I like to tell it, but it comes around twice a year to haunt me. Uh, when, I, when I was in Vietnam, it was about two weeks before Christmas, and a C-123 going home with a load of, load of Army guys that were on their way back to uh, the States. Got shot down off the end of the runway and, uh, and crashed. And we were crashed and burned. There was some survivors. There was 16 to 20 that were uh, killed in a crash. Myself, a good friend of mine, Ralph, the pastor, the minister that was there, the chaplain, we called the Padre. Uh, and a corpsman went around and we were bagging the body bags uh, with them. To this day, I can still remember seeing the faces of them laying there. They were recognizable. Uh, some weren't. About three months later, I was on my second tour and uh, my brother called and he was in country. So I told my first sergeant and they loaded me up and gave me orders to go right home. Uh, you know, it was that Sullivan you know, the five Sullivan brothers from World War II, that act that they had. So I had to get out of town real quick. And I went up to, flew up to Da Nang to depart. Uh, Air Force guy comes over, he says, you don't mind flying with us, do you? I said, no, nah, just get me out of here. Uh, and he goes, it's an angel flight. I said, yeah, that's fine. I didn't know what an angel flight was at the time. But I get on, and there was 36 coffins stacked up in the, the cargo hold, uh, and just me. 
the rest of the crew was up in the cockpit. The, uh... So for the two or three hour flight up to Okinawa, I just went around reading names. Most of them were local names from the New Jersey, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, Delaware. And it was funny because when I went to the tail of the plane, they had uh, McGuire Air Force Base written on it. And I thought I was getting a free ride home, but I got as far as Okinawa and they threw me off. They didn't really throw me. The Marines came and dragged me off. They wouldn't let me go home. But this is what we go through every, every time, you know, a day like this. You know, I tell everybody I had, you know, seven, seven of my high school classmates that I was friends with were killed. I had two cousins that were killed. And I just lost my brother two and a half years ago to Agent Orange cancer. Uh, it gets harder and harder every year. So you, if you do see these guys, you know, shake their hand, thank them, give them a hug, make a date. Do whatever you can for them, because they'd really appreciate it. All right? Uh, what we'll do now, we'll go around and uh, announce anybody that has anybody that was killed in action, lost after after action, uh, like the mayor was saying, you know, illness or anything. If you want to announce their name and the branch of service they were from, or and the town they were from, we'd really appreciate it, and I know they would appreciate it, not being forgotten. So, I kind of started off, I'll mention my brother, Jerry was in the Marines. I had two cousins, Gene and uh, John. Gene was in the Marines and got shot down. He was a helicopter pilot. John was in the infantry and got shot in the North Shore Valley. Uh, anybody else? I would, sir. Go ahead. I would like to thank John Zaleski, my brother-in-law. He got me to where I am today. And for that, I say Semper Fidelis. Thank you. You too. Hooray. Anyone else? Go ahead, sir. Dennis Sido from Jersey City, New Jersey, not quite 19, was killed on a landmine. Good old Jersey City boy. Yeah, by the way, he was my cousin. Was St. Aloysius. Yeah, St. Bridget's. Oh, all right. Downtown. Down the street. Yeah, old Anybody else? You guys got anybody, Sarge? Yeah, it's Sergeant Oliveira, Jersey City, AIA. In the back, Calvary man. Go ahead, Mayor. Sergeant Martin Patrick, John Hayden, Secretary of the Mayor's brother, right? Correct. Anyone else over here? Go ahead. Anyone else? Just shout out. Can't see everybody. Go ahead. Okay. Anyone else? Go ahead.
anyone else. Okay, let's never forget them. I know they don't forget us. Uh, and it's nice to speak up and mention their names like this. I'll do, uh, Pete, did you want to say anything? Uh, Pete Cortell is the chairman of the Veterans Commission. Thank you all. Uh, Mayor McDonald spoke, so that's appropriate. Thank you to all the, the veterans and active duty and families. God bless each and every one of you. God bless. Now we'll do the brief. Uh, the high school. They didn't make it. Here we go. All right, uh, ladies group, uh, ladies uh, women's club of Lacey Township, please. While we're presenting the wreath, I just wanted to acknowledge um, our uh, honor guard standing in the back. It's kind of hard to see them through the uh, monuments for the folks here. Uh, they're from the Ocean County Volks Alps Honor Guard. It's uh, uh, part of the Volks uh, program, and they're down at Waretown, and they're uh, potentially law enforcement officers and possibly service members. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. The fallen Americans we remember today have shown their great love for this country and for each of us. Let us honor and thank them with the way we live our lives. Thank you. Uh, I believe the Marine Corps uh, would like to uh, present a wreath. Fire department, I see they have a uh, wreath. If you guys want to come up and uh, present it, 
And uh, while we're waiting for them, I just want to acknowledge the Lacey Township High School Band who participated in the, in the uh, parade this morning, which was uh, truly a, a, a testimonial to our young people understanding what we're going through and uh, what uh, veterans mean to this, uh, to this country and certainly the, the veterans who uh, passed. Uh, the other acknowledgement I'd like to make is also the uh, Lacey Township DPW. What a great job they do in maintaining this park. It's just beautiful. We, the officers and members of Fort River Fire Department, uh, take great pride year after year, remembering all those who served. Uh, to everyone, whoever put on the uniform and never took it back off, we don't know your names, we don't know who you are, but your service and your sacrifice is all around us, and we thank you for it. Thanks. Uh, any other organization? We have another fire that's looking out the Harbor Fire Department. Thank you. If anybody else is giving a great commitment, just step up in front of Mrs. Delacruz. Welcome. And we have the EMS service. Oka Harbor EMS and First Aid has been serving this town for many years. We do our service now. Many gave their lives and did their service long ago so we could be here today. This isn't just a day off. This is not a day just to party, have a barbecue, have a few drinks. When you do that, please remember why you have today off. Why these families are here, why your family is here. Many gave their lives so we could do all of this. But many of these people that have came back, it's not just the families that remember. It's not just the men who remember. They forget, their, they forget they had friends over there. They had loved ones over there. Everybody lost something so we could all have this day off. So we could have this day to remember. This is a memorial day. Please, that's all we ask. Just remember who gave all so we could have some. Thank you. kind of singing to the choir because all of us here recognize what kind of day it is today. Thank you very much for being here. Are there any other organizations with wreaths? Helps. Thank you. We should never forget the bravery and the courage that these men and women displayed through all the battles, conflicts, insurrections, wars in all parts of the world. In years past and still to this very day, we should never forget that freedom isn't free, that people pay dearly for the liberties that some take for granted. We therefore dedicate this wreath to the memory of the departed, to those who fought in the preservation of, and defense of freedom, to those who lie at eternal rest in our nation's cemeteries, to those buried in foreign soil and those laid to rest in unknown sites in distant lands. God bless America and God bless our veterans. Uh, Reeds to Post America, we're going to be having our wreath display our placement done on December 16th this year in it was such an awesome turnout for the town last year. We only had one complaint. Guess what? You know, it was our first time this year. I can't wait to see how our town explodes with the kindness and generosity of getting the breeds taken care of and all the help we had from everybody. And it's all for our veterans. Thank you. Are there any more, more wreaths to be placed? Uh, sensing none. Uh, what we're going to do then, we'll have the benediction. 
Uh, we have a young man from uh, high school who's going to play taps, uh, David Murphy, who's been here since he's been in eighth grade. Uh, and we also have uh, the honor guard in the back uh, from the Ocean County Volks uh, uh, Alps program. So, uh, Reverend Campbell, if you'd step up, please. By the way, I'm going to convert from Catholic to uh, uh, Methodist. Because... <laughs> Let us pray. Our holy and gracious God, help us to remember. Help us to remember the sacrifices bravely made. Help us to remember those who stand in the breach where there is trouble and in which conflict threatens to undo your good creation. Help us to remember that we look for the day when every sword will be replaced by a plow, that all may be fed and live in your peace. Forgive us every sin that makes for division and for war, and bring us all into your kingdom on earth as in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Campbell. And now we'll have uh, taps that's played by uh, David Murphy from our high school band. ceremony for today. Thank you very much for coming and again thank you to all you people who have come